Yellowstone National Park is a winter wonderland and a favorite destination for visitors in snowmobiles. We find that a lot of people from across the United States uh, enjoy going into the park on snowmobiles because it, you know, you're out in the fresh air, you get to see things on a snowmobile. With your guide, you can stop and take pictures. But conservation groups have been seeking to ban snowmobiles here for more than a decade. Even snowmobile enthusiasts now admit the machines became a problem in the 1990s. The amount of machines and the amount of people going into the park um, skyrocketed. A lot more than I think anybody had ever predicted or thought would happen. And as a result, it probably did get a little out of hand. With as many as 1,400 snowmobiles a day entering the park, blue exhaust fouled the air and squealing engines shattered the natural quiet. The National Park Service cracked down with restrictions, today allowing just 318 snowmobiles a day. Visitors are required to ride cleaner, quieter models and go with commercial guides. The changes have improved air quality and reduced noise and impacts to wildlife, but conservation groups say it's not enough. The National Parks Conservation Association wants snowmobiles banned in the park and replaced with multi-passenger snow coaches, claiming government studies show modern snow coaches outfitted with the latest technology cause the least environmental impact. Thank you for calling Three Bear Lodge. This is Mikkel. But in communities surrounding the park, some business owners say a snow coach only option is not sustainable. Snow coach use and cross country skiing have increased, they say, but not enough to make up for the loss of snowmobilers. And businesses are finding it difficult to stay open in winter. Even some skiers, once at odds with snowmobilers, now worry about losing a diverse winter economy. We all, I feel, have realized that snowmobiles alone aren't, aren't the answer. Snow coaches alone aren't the answer, and skiing alone is not the answer. So we all need to work together to ensure that we have a wonderful winter economy that Americans from a, nationwide can enjoy, you know, not just a limited few. The Park Service is now writing a new plan to decide just what mix of machines to allow. The new rules are expected to take effect in 2011. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.